It's 90.3 KEXP here in Seattle and worldwide at KEXP.org. I'm Stevie Zoom here for the afternoon show. A couple of minutes past 4 o'clock, and we are ready for some more live music in our studio. We want to welcome to Seattle and KEXP, Sampha. Thank you, sir, for being here. It's all right. Thanks for having me. It's great that you're here touring with the XX and performing tonight at the Wamu Theater. Yeah. Process is the uh, debut album, the full-length album that came out uh, first part of the year. Yep. And uh, doing a lot of touring with that, I know. You ready? Yeah, for a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know you're uh, probably uh, traveling to a lot of a lot of places that uh, you haven't been to yet. Yeah, fortunately. So yeah, I'm getting to travel around. Ready for a couple of songs? Yeah, sure. All right. Smoking in the lobby, yeah. Waiting for my name to pop up, yeah. Pop up, and usually I'd run home and tuck the issue under. Can, can, can you hear? 
so hard I've been melting out here I'm made out of plastic out here You touched down in the base of my face Houston, can, can, can you hear me now? Thank you very much. You're listening to live music here in our studios from Sampha, playing tonight at the Wamu Theater along with the XX and, again, the uh, new full-length album, Process. Thanks for being here this afternoon. I mentioned uh, touring with them and uh, probably going to a lot of new cities and and uh, maybe a little bit of help with you with uh, the XX, just in the sense that they're friends of yours as well. That probably helps yeah. a little bit along the way. Yeah, yeah, that's no, really nice. It's like, yeah, it's not awkward or anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, thanks again for being here. Uh, Process is the album. And those of you that are not familiar with uh, some of the uh, previous work that Sam has done, he's had a couple of EPs, but along the way, been doing a lot of work with a lot of other people, Subtract, Solange, Jesse Ware, Katie B, yeah. a couple of guys named Drake and Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> and, but it all kind of started, uh, you met, oh, I know, a number of years ago uh, in uh, England and London, uh, Quest, right? Yeah. Is that how it kind of got started from there? Yeah, that was a huge part of like me sort of getting, I guess, sort of finding my way in the, sort of the music world. Um, yeah, I met Quez, who's like a singer, songwriter, producer from London over MySpace. Um, yeah, and he ended up being kind of like a mentor to me, really. He sort of like opened my mind up musically and, you know, he would kind of like, I don't know, give me game as such. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, and through him, I kind of, got in contact with, uh, or Young Turks kind of, I guess, came across me. Um, and also, 
you know, through my, it was MySpace really. MySpace was that, that, that thing that kind of allowed me to connect to various people and sort of started, yeah, opening up my mind as well to all the, like, you know, the, the, the amount of musicians out there who were kind of like close, close to me really, but I would never have known about if it wasn't for that. Yeah. yeah. I mentioned you had a couple of EPs. So in the lead up to this album and some of these other collaborations are going on, were you putting together this album at the same time as some of those other projects? Not really, to be honest. I kind of held off making an album. I just didn't feel quite ready. And in my head, what I felt like would, you know, the things that would come along with, with making an album, all the sort of, I guess, the kind of focus on me as an individual and me feeling like I wasn't quite, I don't know, emotionally ready to take on doing interviews and live shows. and um, So I was pretty happy just doing what I was doing, sort of going along with the flow, just like traveling in the wind. And But then I did put like my sort of flag down at some point and, you know, decided to, you know, finally start an album. Did some of these uh, projects that you worked on, did they, did you find that they influenced you in a way that you didn't expect? Um, I don't know. I don't know what I was ever, I wasn't really, I didn't know what to expect when going into a lot of it. Um, but they definitely influenced me, um, I would say, in positive ways. Um, if it wasn't, you know, seeing other people's kind of creative processes or um, just seeing how, like, you know, how hungry or how, um, you know, how how kind of much people cared about their music and their, and their output and how much they put behind it, that kind of inspired me, I guess. Um, yeah. And um, I, if I'm not mistaken, I think this was the first time you actually recorded in a studio as opposed to the previous work. Was that in a home studio? Yeah, yeah, before that. I mean, I'd been in studios before. It wasn't like the first time I ever, like, stepped foot in a studio, but... Um, yeah, previously I would mostly make tunes in my bedroom, um, like my like dual EP that was kind of like all in my bedroom and stuff. But then yeah, for this album, I guess I kind of signed a deal and I kind of got a little bit of money <laughs> to like make some music. And it was um, yeah, it was a bit of a new experience to like repeatedly going into a studio and just figuring out how stuff works. And yeah, well, it's a really really nice album. There's a lot of different sounds on there and. Uh, it's just really nice to have that full record to express all the work that you've been doing lately. Yeah, that no, feels good. Yeah, it does feel good. Um, in the when the time comes for another album or putting together another uh, music under your own name, do you think the the process will be any different? Um, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm I'm someone who always tries to plan things and then they end up going the other direction. <laughs> <laughs> so if I say I'm going to make I'm going to make a classical tune, I end up coming out with some funky jazzy thing that, you know. So, I mean, I've got, like, lots of, you know, ideas in my head and stuff, but, yeah, I'm not sure. It might just end up going the same the same way. Usually I make music in the frustration of trying to do something else and I get frustrated and I'll make some music about being frustrated. <laughs> well, we're glad you're here again. Sampha's playing tonight at Wamu Theatre, touring with the XX. Uh, tomorrow they're in Vancouver. And uh, the uh, album on Young Turks process. Thanks for being here. Are you ready for a couple of more songs? Yeah. Yeah. Your wishes, your wishes, your wishes. Don't film me now. I need your wishes, your wishes, your wishes. Don't film me now. I need your wishes, your wishes, your wishes. I imagine those colored skies. No down and we're caught in flight. Yeah. Well, you can let the breeze, let the breeze call you. Yeah. And I hope the wind blows out those fires of doubt. If there's a monster inside of you. Keep it clear. I wish I 
she won't take all the things and go, go. There's no more we need to know. We'll fade out, love all, yeah. We need time to recover, yeah. Oh, you can have a wish, have a wish on me. inside of him But I'm gonna keep it clear I wish it would take all the things and go, go There's no more we need to know We suppress concerns a bit That type of thing You mean, you mean Something to me I need a assistance Beyond my dreams of fire Beneath the tree a calm sea in anarchy, how do you smile? You smile with these, my desire. It burns beneath, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't fail me now, I need your wishes, your wishes, your wishes. Now I need your wishes, your wishes, your wishes. Don't fill me now. I need your wishes, your wishes, your wishes. Don't fill me now. me like the piano in my mother's home You would show me I had something some people call a soul
lot of times I knew we couldn't cope They said that it's hard to notice inside I kept the feelings close this hole in my mother's hole in my mother's hole Ninety point three KEXP here in Seattle and worldwide at KEXP.org. You've been listening to live music here in our studio from Sampha. No one knows me like the piano. I was really hoping to hear that song today, so thank you very much. Right. And uh, it's nice to. I've been looking forward to having uh, one individual in here playing piano and singing. So thank you very much. Oh, thanks for having me. Yeah, it's uh, the new album process. It's on the Young Turks and playing tonight at the Wamu Theater. All the best with the rest of the shows and travels here in the U.S. And thanks again. Oh, thank you. All right, it's 90.3 KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.